Welcome to Nigerian News Center. If today is your first time on this channel, please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you. I have zero regrets ending my marriage and never told him to stop working with the video. I only made suggestions. Israel DMW's ex wife Sheila placed the A on some misconception about the crash of their marriage. In a question and answer session, her friend Ginika also dismissed claims that she instigated Sheila to leave her marital home. She also stated that she regrets accommodating a married woman who was having marital issues. Record that Israel has over time accused Guinea of having a hand in the breakup of his marriage to Sheila. I would like you guys to watch the video to meet again in my daily. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you. Hey, I'm Sheila Courage. Hi, guys. I'm Guinea Silama. And today we'll be answering a few questions for the purpose of longevity, I would say. Because you know, the Bible says it's an act of folly to make hasty decisions. Any decision you make, why? Out of anger, spite, or whatever, it's trust me, the foolish one. And that's the reason we have taken our time to relax and answer these questions I know are in your heart and that you have asked us at our own pace. So, yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Right, so the first question is why did I, said Sheila, why did you move to Abuja to stay with your friend? Mm -hmm. So, so the honest answer to this question is that I did not move to Abuja to stay with my friend here, Dinika. In fact, when I made my decision to move to Abuja, I did not discuss it with any human being. I mean, man or woman, not even my parents, talking about my friend Dinika. We are best friends right now, but as of that time, we're not even this close. That's a fact. I met Dinika in 2021. We did a pageant together, Face of Zikel. Shout out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we did Face of Zikel together, and I won't say we're like the closest, but then it was friendship. The minimal of it, like you get. And that was just it. Ginika was not even present at my wedding in 2022. She wasn't there. She sent her love, but she was not present. That's to show how the friendship wasn't really as it is right now. Yeah, we're just guys. Um, Sheila, so this question is directed to you. Okay. Were you in a good time to your marriage? Hmm. I would be allowed to say that there were absolutely no good times. We sure did have our moments, and it was what it was. Why it was. So, yeah, the record times. There's another question for you. I nah, know. <laughs> okay. So, this one says, Why did you criticize his relationship <laughs> with the Nigerian music star? <laughs> okay, that's direct. Fact is, I did not read my lips. I did not. I, knew, I made suggestions, you know, as a wife, and but I, there was never at any point I said, no, don't do this. Why are you doing this? Don't do that. Why should you do it? Facts. And I mean, I did it behind the scenes most of the times. I take pictures and I make videos. I'm like, okay, I, I saw you doing this and it's fine. I just had, you know, other personal stuff between us that I, I raised with him. But I never at any point said, stop working for him. Why are you working for him? I never, ever did that. All right. So the next question is directed to Ginika. You. Okay. And it says, how did you come into the picture? Thank you very much for that question. <laughs> um, guys, the thing is, the same way all of you found out about the marriage, the divorce, is the same way I also did. And I called my friend, right? Um, I and Sheila, we've been friends since 2021. We met at a pageant. And honestly, we were not even close. We were just acquaintances. And I saw that kind of thing online. And I called my friend, what's up? What's happening? And she told me she wanted to come to my house. She she came to my house and she told me everything that happened. And honestly, I just want to put it out there that I had nothing to do with the divorce. Prior to that, there was never a time we spoke on phone. We were just chatting and stuff. But she never told me anything about divorce or moving to Abuja or anything. So that's it. So there's another question. It says, with everything that's happened, mm. do you regret your decision? <laughs> With everything that's happened, you know, a lot has happened. So let's just start with that. A lot has happened. I do not regret any decision I have taken because it was all bound to happen. Let me put it that way. I believe strongly that God is in charge of all that happens in our lives. Whether you see it positive or negative, there's a master planner behind the whole thing. But I've had my moments of, you know, sadness. People are like, you are strong, strong. Hmm. <laughs> I cry, baby. <laughs> you know, I, I feel 